Your friends are scrolling through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to TRS Clips. You know, usually we do a lot of research before episodes. And every time I ask someone about this particular episode, they told me to ask you how you're looking sexier as you age. Like, what's the secret? What's I think, s- you know, the, the magic of 60 has that sexy part of it. You just <laughs> change the... I into that E, focus on uh, uh, things that you believe, don't compete with anybody, have a blast, uh, Let pe- uh, uh, see how you can appeal to the youth, see how you can connect with them. And the only way you can connect with the youth is if you talk health, you talk wellness, mm. uh, you know, and I think that is that consistent factor in my life, success, failure, movies, no movies, that's been the constant. And then came the pandemic, which taught me even more so to focus on uh, one's health. Uh, and uh, I think that's why uh, people sa- people look at you differently because every time you go home and look at dad, then you start comparing, mm. you know. But the reason why I do what I do is dress the way I want to do whatever that I want. Of course, age is just a number. But also to remind every kid that you know, you're seeing Sunil Uncle this way. Go back home and tell dad if he can be that way, even you can. Because it's so simple. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to put this out as a compliment. So if it doesn't land as a compliment, forgive me. But I honestly... You're having me here as a compliment. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, you know, I know you bring, you bring in a people that matter and, uh, you know, who have some gray matter. So... Yeah. Uh, and that's why you've been on the wish list for long. Yeah. Um, I would argue that you're probably looking even better now than you did earlier when Diwane Hue Pagal, Hera Feri, that phase was there. Like, I feel you're looking much more chill. Uh, you kind of look like a 30-year-old with a little salt and pepper going on. <laughs> Thank you. So, what's up? Like, what's happening? I think, you know, the world has changed, evolved. Everything is so much... Everybody dives so deep into everything, whether it's hair, whether it's makeup, whether it's look. There's so much science out there talking about skin, wellness, gut. Uh, you know, the simpler things, Ayurveda is coming back, yoga is coming back. So I think uh, everybody's done the research and my timing has been right. I aged at the right time because there's so much more knowledge out there. And I follow the simple things in life. You know, my knowledge uh, coming from the Okinawa Gojuri uh, School of Martial Arts to, to today, to, to the world of MMA, I've seen the, that all. I've seen science, I've seen nutrition, I've seen health. So I think right time, uh, right place. Okay. Uh, you know. what, what do you do for your fitness routine? And I would also argue your lifestyle routine. Yeah, true. True. You know, my fitness routine is my lifestyle routine. Like I say, 80% diet and probably 10% training and 10% habits. Okay. Early to bed, early to rise. Uh, you know, whatever happens, I make sure I'm up by four or five, I mean, five, six in the morning so that uh, nighttime is a good, uh, you know, 10, 1030 is, is sleep time. Even if I'm late, it doesn't matter. I will catch up during the week, but I will not disturb that routine of getting up early. Uh, So I train early, 45 minutes to an hour. I uh, quantify my food uh, and eat simple things. Okay. So I think uh, basic mantra, like I said, uh, 80% food diet, clean diet, home-cooked food. Uh, I don't order from, from outside. It's not that I don't enjoy it. But I don't know what has gone into it what, what, and, you know, what preservatives are there. I, I ca- uh, count my calories. I count my oil. I stay away from white, whether it's milk, whether it's white rice, whether it's salt, whether it's sugar. And those simple things keep me uh, clean okay. and looking the way I do. There's no supplements, no protein counts, nothing like that? No, 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 no. You know, I did start protein for a bit because I felt uh, uh, depleting muscle, but then it doesn't suit me. And then when something doesn't suit me, I go back to the drawing board with my nutritionist, who's a very simple, simple uh, guy. And we, we, we fill in, you, you know, we fill in the blanks and say, okay, this is missing. What do we need to do? And okay. I supplement it with, uh, with natural stuff. So far, it's worked for me. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going through an injury and uh, I want to check that out and see... The reason, is it because I stopped consuming as much protein and my supplementation is not enough? Because you know what? The body doesn't, at every stage of of life, the body stops consuming or doesn't know how to consume a particular uh, requirement. And you have to supplement it. Okay. You You mean it rejects a certain food? Yes. Not rejects a certain food, but iron deficiency, 
calcium, uh, could be anything. Each body is different. So, you know, you have to do your blood routine and find out what suits you and not just generally start consuming stuff because the world is saying so. And this is the fad, you know, it could be, could be anything. It could be coconut oil, could be turmeric, whatever works, okay. moringa, anything. But uh, so I just need to check that and then uh, bring that correction. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this. It's the artist clips.